Okay, some of this upper stuff I've been doing, um, this pre-war stuff, I think some people might want to be interested in, in playing that. Um, so, once you get your bend sound here on the, on the top, and by the way, there are people out there, of course, on the internet that, uh, play this, uh, stuff with incredible skill. I've been learning it, and I think I've got pretty good... A grasp on the basics the uh the stuff like <laughs> this is called pre-war i think because god i really don't know why i mean it's more um, it's right there on the internet, of course, but I guess it's before the Chicago Blues sound, and, um, so anyway, um, but a lot of it is straight position, and so work on these, um, work on all the bends, but like down here, That's just straight up normal um, bending the third, second note, like the third note. That's that. Getting those three half step bends. Back to the tube lower. And any kind of combination you want. And then on the top, the stuff is a lot of times starts out like. You're using that tongue thing. Which is just trying to rattle my tongue against the harp. Like, using that R sound. Like in, the, in, the, you know, in, in French, the. Rouge, rouge. It doesn't actually hit the harp. The airflow hits it, though. The tip of my tongue does not hit the harmonica. I repeat it. Just uh, the air that I'm forcing out does when I do the. Now, if I was to hit it, how would? All I can do with that, if I... That's hitting the harmonica, I need to get a different sound, but yeah. You get that sound. That... And I... I know that, uh... It it's it doesn't it's not easy stuff and you have to practice at it. Uh, I've just been doing it for years, so I managed to get the um, and wanted to learn how to bend these notes. I mean, everybody wants to know how to bend the notes, but I mean, I really wanted to get that sound, that that kind of thing where you could go. Log note here. There it is. So that's in first position. That. <laughs> but say I'm playing somewhere, some fancy little on a Sunday evening thing, and the note screws up like that, so I gotta go. <laughs> I 
I'm thinking, oh no. <laughs> so I better get by it with something else, so I better go. <laughs> instead of going that. Instead of getting that note, which I'll try again to show you the note that I really want to. <laughs> which is that note. But it's not there, so I'm gonna go instead of just those notes there. That's a pretty cool little lick. It's like that's blowing the night, bending it. Hitting the eighth, back to the ninth. That's blowing. That's blowing the ninth note. Bending it, dropping it down to the eighth blow. Back to the ninth. Back to the eighth. That's the seventh at the end. <laughs> to get that country sound like that, the country blues sound is pretty cool. Getting it, that, that phrase is, uh, So boom, 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 boom. So let's look at what those lower notes are here. So we start on the ninth. We go. Oh man. Let's see. So we're going. I think that's the five, six, seven. Let's try it. So that's the six, but the six. That's the six look. Six drum. Seven, not the eight, back to the seven. That's the six there, six below. To the seven, to the eight, back to the seven. about all this club note stuff but it's the sixth is the note that I was thinking was a fifth before so again that would be the sixth
Now we the six, seven, and eight. Which is a uh, cool lick in itself. Six blow, seven blow, six blow, six strong, seven blow, eight blow. Six blow, six strong, seven blow, seven blows, eight blow. That's the top part, the uh, ninth blow, eighth blow. Nine blow then eight nine eight nine eight seven So there's that three times on the nine eight. And then drop it down to the signal. That's your seven. And then dropping it down. This thing is clogging up, of course, in the middle of this demo. So, so the last part. Of Six blow, six strong, seven blow, eight blow, you can do it like that too, just repeat it twice. Seems to work better three times though. So let's try it one more time slow. Six blow. Six strong. Seven blow. Eight blow. Back to seven. That's your six there. So you can have a lot of fun with those notes down there. I mean, up there. Even if you have problem, problems bending the notes, you can still have just mess around with getting that sound by going. I wasn't bending anything there. <laughs> then don't clog your notes like I've just done, but you can drop it back down the scale. And the idea is to, you're playing in first position there. And in your mind, I guess you're thinking some old fashioned type sound, you know, you're thinking more of that than, um, than <laughs> some modern thing, if you know what I mean. Like a rusty old door handle compared to, uh, when you 
open the door and it creaks compared to a, a thing that's just been well oiled. It's no, it's not a well oiled sound. It's a creaky old bluesy sound. I think a really cool sound though, and um, that's without any bends at all. So and if you add the bends to it. And then add those little octave things. Well, this harmonica, I think I'm gonna finally have, finally have to ditch it because it's, it's just acting even worse than usual. Couldn't that be that? That must not have to do with the owner of the thing. It has to do with just with the harmonica. Couldn't be me though. That's that dull note thing. Oh, the possibilities are endless up here in the top of the heart. That pre-war stuff, I just love it. That. Now, you all might not have a parrot in the background like I do, but they do add to the effect. some fun with the pre-war blues. God, those poor people not knowing what was going to happen. Maybe it's just better that way. Pretty soon, pre-war turned into during the war blues. Okay, y'all, have a good morning, evening, afternoon, night, wherever you're at, and hope you uh, got a little something out of this. Okay, have fun with it. This was an A harmonica, and it's a clogged A. And anybody wants to buy it, I'll give it to you for discount. Like, I'll pay you to pick it up. Bye-bye, guys.